Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, opening segment. Uh, just get the number for the guy we're going to call about this uh, Hooker Falls oh, so the, debacle. The man who. No, no, I'll read it out to you, bro. No, we can't give this away his phone number on no, the podcast. We can. Well, just beep it. No, I, I don't think we can. No, we'll beep it. That just creates more effort for me. Uh, okay. I'll write it in big letters at the bottom of the screen. Okay, thank you, Liam. Right, well, nonetheless, I suppose, you know, podcast stuff, it's all about killing time and. Filling gaps and stuff. So it's all. Oh, th- there we go. The number the is up. The num. The man who knows the answer to this question is at the other end of this number. Is it the mayor? Can you confirm or not confirm? I can confirm that it is the person who knows the correct answer. <laughs> That's to a this very po- political answer. Bring we I'm will just, be I'm calling s- the mayor if it isn't the mayor. I'll be. I'll, it's on speakerphone. <laughs> oh God! Someone's <laughs> ringing me. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi. Um, so my name's Bradley. I'm a, on a podcast called the Charlie Fox Show. We, we have a question as to whether Hooker Falls is a waterfall or not. Well, well, it's not, is it? Oh, wait. Was that you on the phone? No. Oh. Uh. What are you talking about? Hold on. About? There was a bit of collusion there, I feel. There was something a bit dodgy about that. Well, the person, oh, that, that, the person that who sound, knew the answer That sounded question, like uh, someone. Who? Oh, Someone. Oh. I, I recognise the voice. I can't put my finger on it. Was though. it the mayor of Taupo? I don't think so. Was it the person? Who Should we knew give the mayor the of Taupo answer to the question? That was your phone, wasn't it? No. Yeah, it was. No, it bloody was. It wasn't. I'll tell you what. I you're love, a bloody I propagandist. Love little, I love the little grin that um that Bradley got when he finished entering the number. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think so halfway through I was suspicious. Like, I know this is probably Liam's number. I'm just <laughs> yeah. waiting for it to come up. Well, you know, most of the Auckland girls just love that same grin from Bradley. Don't they, Liam? Nonetheless, Not Bradley, really. shall you call the mayor? Because like, them run away. How far how long ago was it? Because I can't actually remember what his number well, was. Well, how about week. How about we I know oh, I got it. Don't worry. Okay. It's calling. Right. Calling the the mayor of Topo. Once again, I'm out. Um, and we're going to be answering, uh, asking the question of whether Hooker Falls is a waterfall. What's his, what's his name? Oh, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Just call him your worship. Might be after office hours. Didn't work last week. I hope he picks up. Quite personally. Awful. Hello. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not him. Okay, this is really getting a bit annoying now. She's still ringing. Okay, right. Well, he's. Uh, <laughs> we should put them as a uh, uh, cell phone number on the internet. Yes, no, it already is there. Nonetheless, oh, next yeah, week, right. next oh. week, we will continue <laughs> with the question of whether Hooker Falls is a waterfall by asking the Member of Parliament for Taupo. Yep, we, we've already talked to her. She's keen. She doesn't know the question though. She's yet, a big. Though. She's a big fan of the show. Uh, but she doesn't know the question. She said she's a big fan of the show, but she said she didn't know what we were talking about. So I don't know how that works. The Charlie Fox Trot. Right. Well, I've had twelve pork buns for dinner, and I'm raring to go. It was a challenge by myself. I haven't eaten all day, but I decided I was going to have a crack at twelve pork buns. Woo! Absolutely astonishing. Is, is this a true story? No, I'm. No, I'm serious. Uh, I'll just get uh, Lilith, uh, the, my wahine, to say whether that's true or not. It is indeed true. There we go. Wait, so how big were the pork buns? Oh, from the down the street. Yeah, no, she's... uh, Twelve. Twelve. Twelve of them. Twelve. That's not twelve. And then I had... Where'd you get them from? How big were they? Like, massive. No, that's... You're you're lying. Literally the size of my fist and I've got big hands. No, you don't. So do. What about other as big as your ankles, Lily? Ah uh, yes, now that was that's that's a bit of a touchy subject there. Lily uh, suffering from cankleage uh, after rolling it. Nevertheless, nevertheless, um, Bradley, it just brought me on to the topic of you and food uh, and your love for it. There's a documentary that's coming out. There is uh, re- uh, very shortly around your eating habits, isn't there, Bradley? It's my, it's my inspirational life story. There's one coming in about out about your eating habits shortly too. Actually, that's a good point. How, how did it work on it today? Yes. What about my good. eating habits? Well, no one, no one really cares too much. You, 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 you oh can't. my God, we've got some very big news. Hold the phone. Uh, Fitzy's walked into the room. So just ladies and gentlemen, let's just say hello to Giraffe. Hello. There we go. Exciting. Only one person said hello. What, Lily, Bradley. Hello. Amanda. Ki- Kiora. Okay, Kiora. good on you. We just got to acknowledge the Giraffe. Uh, anyway, He's very tall. Yes, anyway, Bradley, you chew with your mouth open. 
Uh, sometimes. Most times. Most so, of them. Yeah, no, that's a good point. So why? I have a small mouth. No, you don't. Um, how w- would you know, Liam? Well, because he's always got lots of shit coming out of it. So I figured there must be lots of room in there. No, no that, come, that comes from deeper down, though. Oh. No. That comes from the uh, real insides. No practical sort of experience with Bradley and the, the small mouth? No. Okay. Oh, we had a drinking contest once and I fit more water in my mouth. But no appendages. I put a finger in there once. Okay. He yawned. <laughs> okay, so Bradley, have there been more uh, problems coming from the fact you've got a small mouth? Um, no. Not, none, that, none that come to mind. Yep. Or, or to my mouth. Okay. No. Just, uh, just thinking there could be. Are you, are you trying to be a doctor or something? No, no, I'm just trying <laughs> to be... sucker. I'm just trying to be a realist. Uh, does there... Uh, does there... Um, does it get in the way sometimes? Of, of my food? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, no, it does get in the way sometimes. Okay. This is really weird. Why? Do you think... Are we no, are, the internet's playing up. Okay. Well, I, I, Liam, just from the outsider, looked. Uh, uh, Bradley and I on the same path here. Are we talking about the same thing? Do you think we uh, are? Uh, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, nah. I, okay, yeah, nah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So anyway, Bradley, you're amongst the basket of deplorables. Hillary Clinton came out and tweeted last year, or the year before, or something. She said, "Those people who chew with their mouth open, the scum of the earth. You must be uh, one of the very few people in the world that actually deserve to be bullied." Did she actually say that? Yeah. Really? No, she didn't. Did yeah, she? she? I'm pretty sure. You find it. Okay, I'll find it for you next week. Anyway. Oh. Uh, Brad, you... I'll only accept the bullying if you find that tweet. Okay. If that tweet's not real, I'm not accepting the bullying. Okay, and it that's, stops. Fa- that's fair enough. But 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 um, how ha- how much bullying have you you been given? Um, a lot, mo- mostly by you. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much the main culprit. Yeah, well, I le- I like to lead the charge because I just it's. Uh, you're a trendsetter. Yeah, well, I mean, look, well, what a bunch of bloody idiots who you know. Who what? You know, you've got to finish your sentence. It's the whole point of this. Hey? Finish you, my what? You didn't finish your sentence. A what? Your sentence. What about it? I didn't have anything else to say. So you did finish it. Yeah. yeah. Bradley's just wrong. It was just an incomplete sentence. No, no. You're wrong, Bradley. No, no. <laughs> yeah. No, he finished it. How? With Bradley, this is, I tell you what, this is just like these, buddy. Your small mouth... See, you, your small mouth is thinking that my mouth is small and I don't complete my sentences. It just doesn't work. Well, no, it has nothing to do with being a, having a small mouth. It's just the fact that you didn't complete your sentence. So I have a small mouth too? No, I just said it has nothing to do with having a small mouth. You said what? I'm not even going to speak to you anymore. About what? speak to me? Hi, Liam. How, how, how's your evening? How's my what? The Charlie Foxtrot. Okay, well, uh, welcome to the debrief. Brad first netball, social netball uh, game of the season. Shit, mm. she was a humdinger. Oh, mate, I was sore than a Catholic bride the morning after a wedding night. Yeah, mate. And that's fair enough. In, in that region? Uh, no. Uh, okay, just no. all body. No, oh, it was mainly my back. and Actually, my, my groin groin was a bit sore. Okay, Had, so sort got, of around that gave region. Gave a bit of a foam roll at the gym today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, how'd the game go? Um, you know, I think we, our very first game, so in the first quarter, the umpire actually had to coach us, so didn't start off well, but I think we really built up from there, and, you're, no, I was just doing a year, we're not finishing <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, do you want me to, do you want me to, do you want me to carry on? Yeah, no, you okay. can carry on. Uh, well, uh, yeah, mate, she, she was a, as I said, humdinger, and, uh, I actually caught up with, uh, Fitzy just after the game to, uh, see how it all went. Yeah, cheers, Nisbo. We're here with uh, Nick Fitzgerald, obviously the shooter for today's Cunning Stunts team. And, uh, well, it's been a hell of a game, just not yours today. Yeah, it was a bit of a disappointing loss today. Um, We just couldn't pull through. It was a game of four quarters, but uh, we just couldn't pull through in all of the quarters. Yeah, indeed. And of course, at half time, you had a, a very narrow uh, gap behind the team you were playing. What happened in that second half? Um. You know, it was a bunch of things, but I think I was just getting the ball and then I was shooting it and then I was getting it in. How about that, Brady Richardson? My God, he was hopping around like a rabbit on cocaine. Yeah, he was putting his heart into it, that's for sure. Yeah, and yourself, you uh, looked like you were really enjoying yourself uh, coming across from basketball. Yeah, it was good fun. You know, it's always good to switch codes sometimes and um, 
it was good to just get out there and have some fun, play with the lads, you know. And the girls? And the girls, yeah. And what about next week? Uh, how's it looking? I don't know. Thanks, Fitzy. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, well, as you can tell, I mean, Fitzy, what a player. He, uh, quite often that's, uh, well, yeah, that, oh, sorry. yeah, well, Fitzy, oh, what a player. I mean, that, he's his debut for the for the show, by the way, too, Brad. Welcome welcome on in, Fitzy. Yeah, hey, welcome on it's in. It's great to have you here. g Raf, as, uh, as his album will say. Uh, moving on to next week, any improvements, Brad? I mean, I think we've got a lot to improve on. Maybe learn the rules might be a good start. What about your ball handling skills? Your ball handling skills? I know I'm pretty good with my balls. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I just saw it. There was a few people that were lacking their handling skills uh, with the ball. Mm. Uh, so the balls... Maybe, maybe we need to some of that grip tech stuff. Yeah, I think maybe some practice in the week with the ball. Or, we, or other do balls. Have, do we own a netball? No, maybe some other balls. Oh, right. I don't know. Some marbles, pool balls, uh, any balls, sort of, sort of thing. Uh, I saw Fitzy; he was quite good shooting that, you know, that that ball through the rim. Uh, he got it in the rim quite a lot. So uh, great stuff to get the ball in the rim. That doesn't often happen from wide. A- any positives that you'd like to elaborate on? Yeah, I think. Uh, look, my running game was not great. Uh, no, it wasn't. But uh, it, it, that, that's that's an overstatement. It was atrocious. But look, my 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 aggression was outstanding. I was, you know, I was keen as mustard. The intention was there. Oh yeah, I was I was pumped up. I like t- a- I'll tell you what, we all look good in pink though. Go check it out. We might have to post a photo on the on the pajama Instagram. Actually, we'll do that. Last time we said we'd post something on Instagram, we didn't. All right, well send us an email if we forget. The Charlie Fox Trot. Okay, what is the world's ugliest dog? Uh, it's, you, it's you, Liam. <laughs> Bradley. Oh, oh, oh no, it's, oh, it's both of you. Oh, 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 that was a bit mean. Yeah, it's Bradley. Hands up for Bradley. That's a unanimous, except for Bradley, decision. I'd just like to clarify. Bradley, that. Bradley, who would you like to vote for? This is democracy. You We're talking about say. animals, not people. Dogs, like... Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Not, not All right. me and Bradley Okay, settle. Jake. Okay, it doesn't matter who the human... Well, Jake's a bit of an animal. Shh. Oh. Are you right there, Liam? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, well, you, you want to lead this conversation? I just did. How? What is the ugliest dog? It's, is it, what well, is the animal... I don't like of, animals. Of the dogs, which is the ugliest? My uh, granddad once drowned a um, bag of kittens. That's not a dog. That's completely no, irrelevant. That's dogging the pussy. You, What's that got to do with you, dogs? You said animals, and I and I just remembered the Don't time dog that the pussy. Granddad I, told me that that I that, that he drowned a bag of cats because yeah, that's not what? a dog. Why would he drown a bag of kittens? Good question, Bradley. Um. Uh, oh, the cat. The cat on the clothesline. That's no. That's just cruel. Well, Fitzy's granddad, G. Raff, uh, the man yet to make his debut, um, or debut, debut, yeah, debut, uh, debut. on the podcast, says his granddad once put uh, a cat on a clothesline, hung it up, and spun it round. That'd be one hell of an evening. Yeah, well, it'd be kind of like the cat went to Rainbow's End or something. But uh, I'd say I reckon getting spun round on a clothesline would be a darn sight better than Rainbow's End. <laughs> That's a bloody good point there, that Brad. That place is shit. That's a bloody good point. I'll tell you what, I've been there a couple of times. Don't want to go back, do you? Oh, no, it's just I was very young and can't remember. <laughs> Have you been there, Liam? So, what, so what, it wasn't very memorable. Rainbow's End. No. Okay. Well, anyway, back to the dogs. Okay, um, uh, so votes for the dogs. Who's the worst, Bradley? What Are we talking breeds? Or? Yes. Yeah. Bulldogs, I hate the things. They're, they're ugly. I hate you too. <clears throat> Well, I like I don't like uh, German shepherds because what? Um, well, no, well, only because um, Hitler did all those bad things. <laughs> but it's a German shepherd, not a Hitler shepherd. Well, it's the same thing. They oh. were there before. Yeah, but Hitler, Hitler was German. So do you hate yeah. Angela no, Merkel because she's oh, well, German? Well, it's Angela. In, it's Angela. Was he born in Germany? Who? Hitler. No, he wasn't. So he's, he's not Austrian. Austrian. Yeah, but he's, he's not mate, German, he, he's Austrian. Are you serious, mate? He ran. He, but he ran the show, didn't so? he? I think I read about something about history about it, that he was he led well, the show in Germany or something. Do you know a fun fact about history? Go on. 
the more the more we live, the harder history class is going to get. Oh, you're full of shit, Bradley. No, that's a good point, actually, oh, okay. Lynn. Sorry, I thought we were going to bully him again. No, that's a good point. Yeah, See, no, I, that I, is true. I do say say I do say some constructive things sometimes. You, you say, do you, you do say 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 some things. Yes, you do say some things sometimes, Bradley. Not often we actually know what you're talking about, but yeah. But anyway, I don't like German shepherds because of Hitler. Who do you not like? What, the, uh, what breed well, do you not like? I don't like you now. Why? Well, I'm a dog. You don't like German I'm not shepherds. a dog. I'm a panda. Oh, awkward. I don't like those Big, little, fat, those and little, cuddly. Those little... <laughs> ones. Chihuahuas. No, not chihuahuas. Um, I've always wanted a the, handbag dog. The, um, the Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. How do you spell that? Shih Tzu. How do you spell it? Shih Tzu. I mean, how do you, with, the, with the letters? Shh. It's okay, that's, zoo. I don't, I don't think quite you understand what I mean. No, I don't know how to spell it, which is why I just keep saying it. Yeah, you're not going to escape it. I am. How, how well, do no, you, you won't, because it keeps going. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, well, thanks for that, Liam. That's all right. Um, I feel mildly, uh, you know, violated, but that's, that's okay. Brady, do you feel violated? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, sort of like what the times with your small mouth. The child he fucks throughout. Sports. Sports talk. Sports. Yeah, sports talk. Sports. Sports. Sports talk. Would you shut up for a moment? Sp- oh, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Um, CrossFit Games happened. No no idea about them. We brought in Amanda, MJ, Welcome her debut M- on the podcast. Welcome, MJ. Welcome. Good to be here. You know, I'm the expert in the CrossFit Games. You're not really. An expert. Is, is, it, is, it, is it a good thing to be an expert about? Anyway, uh, what's going on? So, CrossFit Games last five days. A few Kiara. people won. Um, just thought I'd point out that um, one of the athletes even um, overcame cancer for the Games. Well, um, and you think he's something special? She. You think she's something special? Yeah, I do, actually. You know what I think special? What? Richie McCaw played a World Cup final with a broken foot. I'll give you a broken foot. Wyatt Crockett played 202 games for the 202 Crusade. 202 games! And didn't even get to play the final. Didn't even get to play a final. Oh, he did play, not this year's. The, not, the final. This year's final. He this played, year's final. He, he played last year's final. Last year's final. That's bullshit. And you think that's hard. Stephen Beaver Donald played the World Cup final. <laughs> With a shirt that was too small. <laughs> hey, it was up to his belly button. And you think that that's something special? No. Jeez, Bradley. I'm speechless. I don't know what she's on. It's the Charlie Fox chart. Paul Tito had to play for the Māori All Blacks as a ringer. And you think that that's hard. Paul Tito had it hard. Who's Paul Tito? Yeah, I was about to ask the same question. Are you serious? I have no idea. Paul Tito! He's the only ringer Māori All Black. Oh. oh. That's, that's, that's a pretty fun yeah, fact, no, Jake. Thank, I'm, I'm glad you guys know who Paul Tito is now. I'm, I'm glad too. Jeez, Amanda, you bloody muppet. Sorry, I only follow CrossFit. It's the Charlie Fox trot. Are we going? Yes. Are you sure? Oh, you say, you say it as you if we as if, as Tensions if... are flaring <laughs> in the flat as many... Uh, Generations of Jews come together. Correct. Bradley reckons that Hitler was... What did you think? Well, no, I don't reckon. There is, there is evidence behind the Bradley, fact that he didn't die well, in the I've bunker. I've told you twice now, you telling us that he escaped to Argentina is not proof. I'm, I never said that was proof. Well, you said no, there's you evidence. It was. Evidence and proof are two different things. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they're synonymous. Not yeah, really. Yeah, they're sub- they're <laughs> well, you, you, you can have evidence that doesn't prove something. It's evidence it's still, that that thing didn't happen. Hold on. I'm going to ask Uncle Google. You guys fill in time. Well, no, it's like a murder da, case. They can have da, evidence da, against da, the murderer, da, da. but if he's not convicted, then it wasn't proof. Would it still well, be proof, proof against proof he the murderer? Didn't do it. No, it's proof that he could have done it. Well, no, it's evidence he could have done it. I think this is the most it serious. It doesn't, he didn't do it, though. It doesn't mean it's proof. You Guys. just told me he didn't do it, but now he did do it. Okay, settle out. Sorry. Right, okay, I think this is the most serious 
uh, segment we've ever had, but to put it to rest, well, here's half of the cookie. Proof definition. Evidence or argument establishing a fact or truth about, sorry, truth of a statement. So that is what proof means. Evidence is in the definition. Sorry, can you repeat that? Okay. Hold on. Oh, oh, yeah, no. but it's evidence that proves the truth. But evidence doesn't normally have doesn't okay. Settle. actually have to okay. prove okay. anything. Okay. 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 Proof <laughs> definition: evidence or argument establishing a fact or the truth of a statement. That wasn't on Wikipedia. Wasn't evidence it? means the available body of facts or information indicating whether a belief or proper list, prior proposition is true or valid well shit i can't i don't nice, know i don't know what's going crisp delivery that's i don't i can't quite do you understand the words in that i don't yeah no, i heard they're a bit too big twice. i didn't yeah i didn't so i think it just means information so you're wrong bradley um <sighs> could, you, could you just get get back to whatever you're doing and yeah, not am, contribute things proving you wrong me right us but you're correct. not information hashtag burn it's the Charlie Fox trot. I just want to take things back a bit. You said earlier you ate 12 pork buns. First of all, what the hell's a pork bun? Oh, it's unble- I'm bloody chocker, mate. I'm actually as full as a whore on a Sunday morning. I'm I'm absolutely chocker. Well, how many did you eat? Well, 12 of them. A hell? Well, the mouth. Well, so how, I don't have a small one. How are you that hungry? Well, I didn't eat all day. And I, and Why? I forgot. How do you forget? It's like the main thing you do. No, well, okay, well, I was at Lilith's. Well, by the way, for the everyone of the podcast, my girlfriend, my lovely girlfriend's name is Lily. But I call her Lilith because it sounds more old-fashioned. So anyway, I was at Lilith's um, and I, I came back to my place, got a coffee from Starbucks and just grinded out some work and kind of forgot the time, forgot that I needed to eat, and and it just became quite late. How much did 12 pork buns cost you? 10 bucks. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, no, it's bloody outstanding. Yeah, everyone's really nodding their heads in appreciation. I actually really want to try a pork bun yeah, now. No, yeah, where do you get good. them from? Uh, they eat them from uh, Nice Dumpling <laughs> from down the road. It's uh, I can assure you it, it, it does a good job, uh, and the uh, the ratings about, about, about A or B or something. Uh, uh, half past. Oh, okay. Charlie Foxtrot. Okay, Brad, well, uh, the sun's setting and I'm, I'm getting a bit tired, to be honest, so uh, why don't we wrap things, wrap things up? I agree. Um, so next week on the show, Louise Upston, MP for Topor, uh, is going to answer the question. Is Hookerful is a waterfall? And another re- debrief from the netball, mate, she's going to be all go. Um, That's a fine... I, I'm, I should be able to play the next. Week. We we may or may not bring back Ben's thoughts. I don't know. We may. We Liam's may not. Thoughts. I thought we replaced them. Well, see, that's what I said. We may or may not keep the audience. See, we keep the audience sort of. Uh, no, um, I got. I got you. But if because if they like. So that. Louise Upston may or may not be on next week's. Yeah, episode. correct. You're gonna have to Co- tune yeah, in yeah, to the, find the, out. Yeah, the MP. So uh, episode whenever, whatever it is. Oh, I forgot. I lost count. See you. Bye.